Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and welcome to today's Caffeine for the Soul. And if you enjoy the podcast, please like, subscribe, and share. You've probably heard things like be here now, the power of now. Life happens in the present moment. Now is good. Okay, you probably never heard somebody just say now is good, but that's kind of the implication of all the teachings about living in the present moment. And I've had a a, a mixed relationship with that teaching because on the one hand, I I could see that clearly it, it made logical sense that given that the past doesn't really exist, it's just... imagination and memory in the future doesn't really exist because that's just imagination and memory projected into an imaginary future, then probably now is where we are. And I'd heard things like now is the moment of power. and, And yet it felt almost like a job. Like, oh, I'm supposed to be present. Oh, God, I hope nobody catches me not being present. Oh, you know, why can't I be more present? What's wrong with me that I'm not present enough? I need to be more, I need, and Instead of it being a a place of power, which is how it was described, I experienced it as a, with with almost a sense of duty and responsibility. And I would think, oh, I'm not supposed to think about stuff. I'm supposed to be, I'm not supposed to go into the time machine in my head. I'm supposed to stay in the present moment and I'm supposed to be where my body is. And it, it was an incredibly unattractive, uninspiring spiritual teaching for me. And over the years, I've seen a couple of things that have fundamentally changed my relationship with now. And I wanted to share them with you. And the first is the way most people talk about and think about now or the present moment. It's a very small thing. So the present moment is that tiny space between past and future. Now, it's okay because there'll be another present moment in a minute, and life is a series of moments, and remember that moment back then? That was a great moment, and oh, imagine what a great moment could be somewhere in the future. And it's almost, to me, like a conveyor belt, and you've got to catch each moment as it comes by on the conveyor belt, you know, to put in the chocolate box or, or whatever it is that you're doing with it. And oddly, the way that I was thinking about now, about the present moment, was pretty stressful. And then one day I realized that now is not a moment in time. Now is the eternal, timeless present. In other words, you and I are in the same now as Jesus of Nazareth. You and I are in the same now as the Buddha. You and I are in the same now as any great sage who might emerge in the future will be. There's only one now. And we're already here. Now, when I started to see that, that now wasn't had something I had to chase or, or ooh, let that now go, but I'll catch it. I'll catch the next present moment. I'll catch the next now. I could relax into it because something I'd realized fairly early on was there, there's kind of nowhere to get to because we're already here. And if we're already here, and if here is eternal, outside of time, infinite, then there's no effort required to be here now. And then I, 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 I one day was, was kind of contemplating, because I've noticed, and I talk about in these podcasts, how when you get a prescription to do something because it's good for you, like, you should be here now, you should spend more time in the present, it, it's a substitute for genuine insight into how things work. Because when you really know how things work, you just work with them. It doesn't take effort to not poke yourself in the eye with a fork. It doesn't take effort to bear gravity in mind and not just drop things that break. Once you understand how they work, 
it's off your mind. And generally speaking, the less you have on your mind, the better things go. And so I got curious about, well, what am I not seeing about now that's making it feel like I need a prescription, I need a reminder that I'm supposed to be here? And for me, what made a big difference, and it was just something that came to me while I was exploring, was what if now is home? What if right here, right now, is your home? Now, the thing about your home is you don't have to be there all the time for it to be your home. Knowing you live there is great. You know where you're going to go back to at the end of the night. You know where you're going to start out at the beginning of the day. And you can spend as much of your day at home as you want. And there's nothing that you can't do from home. You can work from home. You can have a relationship from home. You can have adventures from the comfort of your own home. And so I realized that it really is possible to move in to the present moment, to move into now, and then I don't have to worry about it. It's no longer my responsibility to make sure that I am always now any more than it's your responsibility to always be in your apartment or in your house or wherever it is that you live. It's just home base. And you can go off in the time machine in your head into imaginary futures and remembered pasts as much as you want. But you start to get a feel for home. And if you haven't been there for a while, most of us start to miss home. And we go home because we want to, not because somebody said, you should go home. Be home now. It's important to be home. And there's something interesting that happens. The more time we spend at home, the more time we spend here, the more depth there is, the more feeling there is, the more there is to see, the more energy and power seems to gather in us, the more of the intelligent energy of life we seem to have access to. And the more comfortable you get being home, it's not that you don't want to go away anymore. It's that you love being home. And so you start to hang out here, hang out in the eternal now, not because it's good for you spiritually, not because it's good for your personal development, not because you're supposed to, but because you really love being at home, being at home in yourself. And so, if you want homework, your homework would simply be to move in to the present moment, to declare the eternal now as your home, to claim it, and to notice how does your experience of life change when you know you have a home. You will always have a home. And it is always right here, right now. Have fun, learn heaps, happy exploring, and I'll talk with you soon.